Hi, this is quite a cute question. We have a bridge structure here that has got to support the weight of the water on, on it. So originally, this is the amount of water that it has to support. Now let's bring in the boat. So there's now a boat sitting here. It's floating. Obviously, the bridge has to support the additional weight of the boat. So let me put it here. So this is the additional weight of the boat that the bridge must support. Uh, let me write it as um, weight of the boat. Um, but we do notice that the bridge actually has to support uh, less water now because um, some of the water has been displaced by the boat. So this amount of water used to be here, but it's no longer here now because it has been displaced by the boat. So we, the bridge now has to support less weight of the water. So let me write it here. Let's subtract away the weight of the water that has been displaced. Now, does it look like that these two are actually the same? Yes, they are. Remember the boat is floating, so the weight of the boat must be exactly balanced by the upthrust it receives from the water. The weight of the water displaced is equal to the upthrust. And since the boat is floating, we know that the weight of the boat is equal to the upthrust. So that means these two terms will give us zero. So the bridge will see the exact same load distribution whether the boat is here or not because the additional weight of the boat uh, is balanced by the weight of the fluid displaced. Okay, 